Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, November 6, 2021. Week 153. Wow. We actually skipped week 152 because the day previous to our update, we had Stacy in surgery and our lives have been a little bit chaotic in the last six, seven days. To um, say the least. <laughs> to say the least. We are puppy training, obviously. Bella is going out every 45 minutes to an hour and Stacy's having some cryo ice stuff on her shoulder. I'd say every 90 minutes, every hour and a half to two hours, we're doing that on top of just laundry, food, cleaning, taking care of Julia. He's been my maid. He's, you know, I haven't... Fixing the car, fixing yeah. things around the house. It's, it's Our schedules have been really crazy. Yes. Really, really different, too. And the important thing to me is that he's helped me shower Oh, wash my yeah. hair. <laughs> I'm learning to do good ponytails again. My Both my girls, I did ponytails all yeah. the time. But it's been quite a few years. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're back to doing Stacy ponytails now. Yeah. So, Hat has been my friend. I've go, we've Washing gone out your hair. twice. Um, yeah, getting, yeah. You, getting you just out and moving a little bit. Yeah. You know. It's been a week, so it's um, definitely better. Um the first, pretty much for like the first four days, all I did was sit sleep. in the recliner and sleep. I just, and of course, you know, when I had my pain meds and then the ice on there. Anybody that knows me knows I absolutely hate ice. I'm always freezing cold. Um, always. And uh, I put the ice on and it's all she wrote. I had to go sleep right away. Um, so. And the medicine kicks in and knocks you out too. Yeah, and Bella's been my friend. Um, she hangs out and sleeps with her. She likes her. some of my stuff, but she literally will come when she's settled. She'll come lay between my legs on the cozy, warm blanket that I've been using, and just falls right asleep for a couple hours with me. So that's been uh, yeah, that's been nice. Puppies know. Puppies know. She knows you're healing. Yeah. So the the surgeries went well. Um, I only had two of the three procedures done, so my recovery time should be quicker. But it still kicked my butt. I'm my the top of my shoulder is extremely sensitive. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's gonna be sore for a while. They had a lot of what you call it's in there, the little orthopedic or right. what do you, what do you call those little things? They just make the little orthoscopic. Yeah, they had a lot of those little pokes in. Yeah, I think three of them. Yeah, there's three. They were three. working with all the computers. They shaved the clavicle. Um, bone they had spurs. a bunch of bone spurs and arthritis in a pocket that was so they decompressed that pocket um, and just cleaned everything out in there. So I'm hoping you had a bicep here, but they said it wasn't fully torn, so they right. were leaving it alone so it would because heal. that could make it worse. Yeah, and the recovery time certainly would be longer with that. So, so um, let's hope they're on the right track. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping uh, so. It should go pretty well um well hey we should get into our numbers yeah. uh two weeks ago i was 338 and last week i was actually 338.6 on the scale but we didn't do an update right and then this morning i was 338 even again so i'm back to where i was two weeks ago but i'm not up half a pound so that's yeah. good um definitely been very active my fitbit has been <laughs> off the charts um yeah double double if not triple because I'm constantly up. I'm I'm doing food, I'm doing laundry, I'm doing cleaning, I'm doing whatever, you know. The dog. Ice, the dog, a little of everything. Bella, she got a new toy at the dollar store. It squeaks somewhere. Yeah, she found it. Too. She found it. I don't know, I couldn't find it. It's anyway, right so yeah, I am the same. I am 338. Yeah, I weighed in at 151. Two or, weeks ago. Two weeks ago, I am at 153 right now. Okay. I've oh totally not been active. Oh well, yeah, it's understandable. <laughs> I've been going to the bathroom. Um, yeah. I went out to the store with Bill once just to walk. I just need to walk and, and get out um, of the house. Yeah, I have um, little leg massages that I had to put on so that I didn't get any blood clots. Um, so even better if you can stand and walk and tolerate yeah. it with the sling on though. Yeah, first couple of days that the the little thing legs on my. Uh, Massages, massages on, your legs. on my legs were wonderful. Yeah, then I was able to really get up and start walking a little bit because I didn't do anything other than let my honey take care of me. Yeah. My throat was killing me from the breathing tube. So um, Bill makes a mean glass of hot tea. 
So that's been really soothing to the throat. And uh, so we're getting there and I'm hopeful and, and wishful that everything is going to be good and yeah. I'll be on the mend. The Oh, you're doing great. Yeah, I am doing much better. I, um, I halfway showered yesterday by myself. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> but I can only wash a little bit and then Bill came in and finished washing, got some of the stickies off my arm and... Yeah. Um, Got my hair done for me, so it was uh, it was a good day. Yeah, and we washed hair the other day, and yeah, gotcha. It's getting easier to change, and yeah, you know, those things were really rough the first couple oh. days, and now it's <laughs> a lot easier. So, so we're <laughs> getting sure. there. Ooh. So, but it's going. It's 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 going. So it's going. I'm very hopeful Hi, and wishful. There's Bella. There she is. She has grown so much. Let me tell you, when we got her. Um, it was October 1st, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah it was October 1st. Yeah. And um, since then, it's been just over a month, and she has gone from 4 pounds to 13 pounds now. She's 13 pounds, and she is going to be one big pup. Look at those paws now. Look at those paws. <laughs> her paws were small when we got her, and now they're triple the size that they were. She's saying, look at me, look at me. And we had doggy DNA done. So she is uh, like 39% Siberian Husky and um, then 27% American 27% cattle dog. Uh, cattle dog, Australian, Australian cattle, dog. cattle dog. And then there was like um, some pit bull in there, like 12% or something. Pit bull terrier, pit yeah. Pit bull terrier and then some Scottish terrier or something, some other thing. But uh, yeah, so she's going to definitely be a chunk butt. You're going to be a chunky, <laughs> probably 40, 50 pounds, maybe. I don't know. We'll see where she ends up. She's like a horse, though. Definitely. And she's strong like a bull. She pulls hard. Yeah, she We had does. to upgrade her leash to a thicker <laughs> leash because she was just yanking away. <laughs> she's got me all tangled up in her leash. Uh, so I did see the doctor uh, Friday, yesterday, <laughs> and that went pretty okay. I mean, we, we just talked about, you know, life in general, stress and anxieties and I've definitely been feeling all those. Um, and, you know, I just told him how my health has been on the back burner. And he just tried to remind me that I can't take care burner. of everybody else if I don't take care of myself. And that I needed to, he asked me when the last time I did anything fun was. And gosh, I paused and I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> so he's like, go do something fun. Do something for yourself. Enjoy um, you know, things that I enjoy, playing guitar, playing chess, things like that. Yeah. He's like, I want you to do some things for yourself. And then, of course, I want you to start focusing on your own health and uh, getting back into your routines that you were doing that brought you to where you're at and that you're su successful with and uh, in the past. And let's see on your next visit, I think it's in March, that uh, you're doing better. Uh, my A1C stayed the same. It's at 8.3. So I was as low as 6.7, I believe. Yeah. And uh, I've creeped up over this last year. And I just have not lost. And I just yeah, have not done. There you go. Get down. I just haven't done as well as I, I had hoped and planned and wished to. So, but he, he didn't really read me the riot act. He just said, look, try and Have refocus. Back on the train. And, and I know that's true. So I will do my best to start doing that more. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of bummy. We had a can't we were supposed to be on vacation last week and Yeah, that had never to come happened. Off. Technically I'm on vacation this week. Um which, <laughs> for this. Yeah. Right, for, for recovery and then I'll be on short term disability. I think right now they're scheduled to have me out through December tenth. Um but we'll see how it we'll goes. We'll see how your business um, goes and your yeah. physical therapy and how your healing goes. And yeah, I go to the doctor on Friday and then I'm scheduled for my first physical therapy uh, the following Monday. So Bella is licking the wall. I, I don't know. She's a puppy. She's a puppy. So, but yeah, so it's, you know, lots and lots of things to my honey for oh, you're welcome. taking care of me and... Uh, I've tried. We've actually tried to catch up on some TV and stuff, but can't keep Stace awake. She's <laughs> been zonked. I think the medicines really get you too. They they knock you out. Yeah, that and you know, as soon as as soon as I get the pain meds in me, and then the ice pack, I'm actually truly you relax. I relax because I'm covered up. Bill's like, you, are you hot? And I said, no, because normally I'm 
sweltering hot, oh. but I've this I've had such a thick blanket on. He and he's like, it's not hot in here. It's not cold in here, but I'm so frozen from the front. This goes the front, the back, and down the arm. Um, so it just makes it very comfortable for me to just fall asleep. And that's good. You need that. That's what that's when healing happens. You just rest. Taking lots rest of naps. And, rest and feel better. Yeah. And that's that's our goal. So we'll we'll get you a feeling better. Yeah. It'll get there. Yeah. But the pain you were having on the daily basis, the pains that were in there and the shooting yeah, and pains, the shooting that's not pains there, right? Up the neck, no. So maybe we're hopeful that when the healing... We're hopeful that we're on the right track. ...of the surgeries yeah. happens, that maybe you'll be less There's been painful. months that I've been in just excruciating pain, and I did take the cortisone shot, um, and I didn't think I was getting any relief because I re-injured myself right. like five days after I got Cortisone's the cortisone shot. And, uh, but it. I will tell you, I was like, no, I'm not getting any relief for the last like two to two and a half weeks prior to the surgery. I every would day. come home almost in tears every day. Every day. So, oh, she's ringing the bell. I got to go let the dog out. We have a bell on the door and the dog goes up and knocks it with her nose and then you have to take her out. So uh, we're going to actually let you guys go. Hope everybody's doing great and try and keep this dog from peeing on the carpet. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Bye.